Um, I'm from Streeter. I grew up in Streeter. Okay. And then I went to Marquette High School. And then after that, I went to IV. And then ISU. And then after ISU, I graduated, um, got married, and I moved up to Minnesota. So I worked there for about uh, seven to eight years as a teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was a K-12 school. Uh -huh. So um, I had some high school and some elementary. So I loved it, though. Loved um, the kids up there. Hated the cold weather, though. It's mm -hmm. very cold. It's called Floodwood, Minnesota, and it's about 45 minutes west of Duluth. In the middle of winter, in January, you could go the whole month without getting above zero. I mean, it's just freezing. You're oh, just cold. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. You have to plug your car in at night so it can start the next day. You have to plug it in? Like, yeah. Into so what? The, um, an outlet. Like, you plug it in your garage. So that... I remember one time it was 32 below and we still had school and the kids had to sit in because they thought it was, this is temperature, not wind chill. Okay? Yeah. So your temperature is below 30 degrees. And the kids were mad because some other kids were, can you know, schools were canceled and theirs weren't, so they had to sit in 32 below, let us go. Because <laughs> just, it was funny. But, <laughs> you know, they did it for a half hour for the news and then they went to class. But it was yeah. a funny situation. Yeah. So, um, after that, started missing home. Decided it was time the kid grandkids were getting older, my kids were getting older, and um, missing grandparents. So uh, okay. we thought it was time to move home and um, moved down to Mendota, got a teaching job there, and then eventually here I am. Close I grandparents. really like having close family because yeah. our family is all from here, my husband and mine, so that's why they were around. How many children do you have? I have three. I have a 15-year-old, a 10-year-old, and an 8-year-old. So I'm a people person and I just love um, dealing with people um, and everyone's been so good, it just makes me excited for the upcoming school year.